What's up, guys? The bait room is a wreck. I haven't been in here in a while. I've been getting a lot of stuff in the mail lately, but uh, I'm glad to be back. It is Saturday night live, and yeah, I still haven't cut my hair in, I don't know, six months. But uh, And I've got caulk on my face from work. It's really hard to get off, so please do not judge me as I've been putting windows together like a madman. And man, I just got to get stuff straightened up in here. I got terminal cough that's going to fall on me and all kinds of stuff. But I did get a couple new swim baits in the mail that uh, I want to show you guys tonight. And uh, let me get the chat open here uh, so I can see everybody. Let me pull that open real quick. That always helps me answer your, your questions. And uh, it's been, man, it's been a while. It's been about a month since I've been on here, so I might be a little bit rusty tonight. But I have got a giant, or should I say a jaint box from Six Cents. Uh, and I want to thank Casey uh, very much for all that. Uh, he basically hooked me up with every new color they've got and a couple new baits and stuff. And I'm really excited. But uh, what's up, Monty Mac? Um... Uh, but I want to let you guys know, uh, I've just had a lot of life stuff going on lately. Nothing bad, just, uh, you know, I've been working a ton, and it's been really hard to kind of manage uh, video stuff with, you know, my son's in school um, and, and my daughter's in daycare. And I've really been trying to focus on helping my son in school because he's been struggling a little bit. And uh, I want to help him because I don't want him having to sit on YouTube uh uh, talking about baits the rest of his life, which, you know, that's fine if he wants to do that after he's, you know, graduated Harvard or whatnot. So I've been trying to help him out, put a little focus on the family. And, you know, I've been watching football and, and well, I kind of quit watching football. So, uh, cause Tennessee is terrible, but, uh, LSU looks really good. So I think I'm going to bandwagon them. What's up, Keith Curlin? Thank you so much, uh, for the donation of four ninety nine. Uh, I really appreciate that, bud. You know what? I tell you what, I'll, uh, Brooks has been wanting some crayons. When that comes through, I'm going to load him down. So I appreciate uh, that, Keith. Uh, but I'm really glad to be back. But got a bunch of cool stuff tonight. Uh, I've got some mail calls in and uh, whatnot. Um, if y'all didn't know, the Fall Baitman box is available on the Sixth Sense website. Uh, some great baits in there. And I, I just had it and somehow I lost it. I think Brooks took it because they come in those cool bags and he puts all kinds of toys in there so uh shout out when you order from six cents and get one of the black bags you'll see one it makes great uh great for your kids toys great to store your beverages in and your baits or whatnot but uh let's see who all's in here but uh anyway uh, I do got, uh, I got to get a video up tomorrow. I actually want to shoot a little intro in it. And, uh, I got to go ahead and shout out, uh, Monty McWilliams for, uh, he really hooked me and Jake up when we went to Pickwick, uh, a few months ago. And I got to get the rest of that video up tomorrow. It's actually, um, scheduled to upload tomorrow about six o'clock. So look for that. And I'm going to try to be banging out videos this week. I, I, I'm slow down at work a little bit. So, uh, we've got how to skip a jig. We've got some top water stuff. Uh, more of me and Jake. Lots of stuff coming. So uh, me and Jake had an epic day on Kentucky Lake. I'll just say that. And we call them super dirt shallow. But uh, anyway, let's get into the baits because that's why most of you guys are here. Y'all want to see baits and talk about baits. And that's what I do. And then we'll go talk about whatever you guys want to. You know, anytime y'all want to make a donation, hit that super chat button. I'll make sure I answer your question, give you a shout out. You know, if you got a YouTube channel or you got social media, I'll shout you out. No big deal. So let's look at some stuff I've got in the mail this week that's uh, not six cents or over the last couple weeks. You know, I do a lot of bait trading and whatnot. So I got to give a shout out to, to a, a buddy of mine from Illinois. His name's Rick Bartz, and uh, he is enriched in the Japanese domestic market, uh, JDM Tackle. And I've been looking for a gang craft. Y'all have seen it on the show. I've talked about I want a gang craft. He said, hey, bud, I know you need one. Let me hook you up. So he sent me uh, this right here, which is the 148 uh, Jointed Claw Gang Craft. Uh, slow sink. 
And let's get this out because it's not the huge uh, version of the Gancraft. Uh, most guys throw the, the big, giant one, but I really like the size of this 148 because uh, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's kind of in between the smallest waiver and the big one. Uh, I would like to have this one just a little bit bigger, but you know what? Uh, shout out to uh, Rick uh, for getting this to me. And it's it's kind of crazy. I met him at ICAST like four years ago, and we stay in contact all the time. Thanks, BJ. I, I, I got to get the website going back to, man. I, it's just really hard to do everything. I've just got to have to put myself on a schedule. Um, so, y'all, suggestions for articles, blog content, whatever. Um, we'll, we'll go there. Monty Mac, I appreciate it, man. You don't owe me nothing, man. He, he, uh, anyway, man, I, I'm, I'm going to have to come down to Halls, and we're going to have to go duck hunting. I'm ready. I got me. I got me a new camera, by the way. So, uh, but this is uh, this is a Gancraft, very popular glide bait. I really like this. This is a limited edition, uh, exclusive to the United States. So, can't find this one in Japan. But it's kind of like got that American shad look on it. Really excited about tossing this thing around. Uh, Gancraft is is known for their quality of baits, and they catch fish. And I'm really excited about that one. Uh, hey, thanks, Robert. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, I'm glad to be back as well and talk baits and fishing with you guys. Um, thanks, Jack. What's up, bud? I'll be honest. My Nebraska fans, man, y'all got a pretty decent football team this year. I'm really jealous. I'm not even sure. I don't know how we beat UT Chattanooga. I mean, it's just awful. But that's why... I like I like fishing more. I can always count on that. I know I suck at fishing. I don't have to wait every Saturday to see if I'm going to suck or not. But then speaking of swim baits, uh, speaking of swim baits, uh, if you guys have ever heard of Mike Gilbert and Working Class Zero, um, he makes a bait called a Battle Shad, and also the Citizen. Uh, I just happened to find a guy that was wanting to trade some off for something I had. And uh, I had a battle shed, but I never had the citizen. And you know, he had this dope color right here. Got that purple on on the back. This thing right here. Uh, this is the citizen seven inch. So it is a big swim bait. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to uh, rig it with a lead head yet. Maybe I can get Jake Lawrence to show me a really good trick at uh, maybe putting a line through on this. For running it out deep um but you see uh mike puts a lot of effort into making this soft plastic swim bait um see on the bottom here this is a place uh it's got this belly slot that is perfectly molded for a beast hook um and i've actually got one right here victor uh i'll tell you what happened uh if you'll go to their website uh working class zero sign up for the newsletter because i got uh an update that said we're going to launch these baits tomorrow night, and they did, and they were up for like two hours. Uh, I think there was some Citizen Blue and some 7-inch Silver, uh, but see, uh, this one is already rigged. This is a 10 uh Beast Hook with the flashy spin on the bottom. Me personally, uh, I like the flashy spin on my smaller baits. I don't really like them on the big baits. Um, I think a lot of people have, have really started to overuse uh, the flashy spin they put it on everything but that's a great great looking bait really excited about this i may have to go down to gibson county lake and and, and toss this around for a big old jaint uh, lake x is kind of shut down for a while um, so that really excited about that expand the big swim bait collection i'll tell you who needs to throw that is old on a matt robertson but y'all see that one thing I want to show you, this, this swim bait, the tail on it, it's really a wedge boot tail. It gives it a lot. It gives it some kick, but it's not like a crazy uh, flop. It's just a really good hard swimming action. I've seen some underwater videos on this. Um, awesome bait. I love getting stuff like that uh, in the mail and, and trading with guys and whatnot. Man, the UK is, is finally growing back. What's up, Colin Walls? What's up, Chris Morrow? 
we were, we were talking baits. That's what I like to do. We were talking baits, and we're going to look at some of the stuff from Six Sense. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I opened the box because I really needed a new hat. My other one had caulk all over it. What's the best tackle box to store the 7 and 9 inch plastic swim baits? You know, BJ, that's a really good question. I think I'm going to have to make my own. Um, I've seen some boxes. Uh, when I did a live stream with Matt Allen, he had a really cool one. Um, but you can take a Rubbermaid box. They used to make some tall ones and, and that were square. And you can basically modify it and put some small bars in there and hang them up on uh, pins. Uh, might be a good DIY video to do, but, you know, I'll put them in a Bass Mafia 3700 box. I just don't like stacking the baits on top of each other. Um, so I'd love to be able to modify a box like that to maybe you got a 3700 deep and then you got a little tray that sits over the top and then you have, you know, three or four layers. That way your tails don't get messed up. So that's my idea. Bart, if you're watching this. There you go. My other idea was if you kind of had like, you know how your cookie sheets or your, your, you make muffins and stuff. Maybe if you had pre-cut like four, six, seven inch ones where you could lay the baits in and the tails were kind of muddled in that. And then all of a sudden, you know, you could slide these things in and out to store like your bass tricks and your Kitex and stuff like that. You know, you have a box and you just insert those sheets in there and pull them out. Heck yeah, we're going to get some more uh, collabs. Uh, I know Mark Menendez is going to come on here pretty soon. Me and Mark have been working on some stuff together. Uh, I'm going to get his YouTube going. Uh, he's got a local TV show here. I'm going to be filming and whatnot. So I really need Mark to get 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's at like 890. So if y'all look up, uh, and I'll type it in here, MM Bass TV, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're going to be a lot, dropping lots of cool videos and, and, and a lot of his stuff. Who really want to take questions from the audience and, and, and do that. But uh, he's got a local TV show here. It's really good. And uh, I've been a friend of his since I've been in diapers. So uh, make sure y'all hit that sub on the MM Bass TV for me. Um, what about the emergency Lucky Tackle, Lucky Tackle Box? You know, I, I see this Monster Bass Lucky Tackle Box thing going back and forth. And uh, competition is always a good thing. Uh, that's, that's how I see things. Um, if it makes one company improve, the best of, I know LTB had some really crazy bad management. Um, you know, I, I got their boxes for a while and it definitely went downhill. Uh, Monster Bass, those guys all seem cool. Um, you know, I haven't got any of their boxes. They don't pay me anything, but I'm friends with some guys that, you know, are involved heavily with that. And I think they're doing a good job. Uh, Mystery Tackle Box, you know, I support them. They, they take care of me. Um, so... Just drill holes in the lid and zip tie swivels to the lid. Best swim bait box. There you go. That is the only thing. I, I don't want to drill holes because I don't want water getting in. You know? So, thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. Memory foam. That is a great idea, Greg. Memory foam for big swim baits. Insert box. So, Bart, Bass Mafia, you, you listening, my, my guys. Here's the deal. When you make, if you were going to go mass production wise with a box like this, which way your bass moth, your plane, or anybody, they're not going to do it if they can only sell 500. They want to sell 20, 30,000 units. So I, I, I've, all, I've argued that I think there's enough swim bait guys out there. If you made the right box, you would sell 20 or 30,000. So dang, you, Leonard from Brazil. So anyway. I got one more thing I got in, and, and it, it's kind of weird this popped up, but, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Black Dog Bait Company. I love the Lunker Punker, but I don't have a bone one. And I just happened to find this and got it on a cheap steep. This is a six-inch injected punker, and it is bone. And you can hear it. That sucker is loud, so... I'm excited about this because it is fall and I like throwing big baits and I will not lie, especially on top. So this isn't the wood one. This is the injected punker. You can get it for like 20 bucks or whatnot. Uh, all you got to do is get on the Black Dog Bait Company website. But uh, found someone had this. They said they didn't like throwing these big top waters that warm out. And I said, okay, I'll take that. 
So now I've got three punkers. I got the wood OG up there that's eight inches. I got two six inch like this. So really excited about that. Get my top water on. So we're going we're going to unbox this right here. And uh, I got a giant box from Six Cents. I mean, whew. and it kind of got delayed. They've been having some flooding down there in Texas, so uh, it kind of worked out because I wasn't going to be able to unbox it last Saturday. Um, so let's let's start right here with the juice, which is Jane juice, and so excited that this color from Six Cents come out. Uh, this is my own kind of deal, and that is the Jane juice. And this lighting is kind of rough sometimes, so you can't you can see the purple, but it's. I told Casey I want that purple to kind of fade to a silver. And a muted chartreuse. And yeah, on social media, it looks a little brighter when you put some filters on there. But this jank juice is sick. Let me see if I can flop this one switch. And you can see a little bit better. Eh, probably not. Go ahead and put that back on. So that is the Crush 100X. So jank juice is available in the 75X flat. Um... It's available in the 100X, the 50X, and the Provoke. And you'll see that tonight. Trust me, I loaded up here. But, you know, a, a friend of mine asked me, uh, when do you like the 50X versus the 100X? Well, I actually like the 100 probably more. Because uh, just the area I live in, there's a little bit bigger bait and stuff. But when I need a bite, I go down to that uh, 50X. Hey, no problem, Monty. Anytime, bud. And uh, as always, guys, you order from Six Cents. Use that code Baitman. You'll get 10% off. Uh, what is my favorite Six Cents bait? That's a great question. I would say the 100X, uh, the Quake 70 is a really good bait. Uh, that Provoke 106. Quake, Provoke, and probably that Crush 100. Are, those are my favorites right now. I throw the curve a lot. Um I can't say I've caught a million fish on it, but it's very easy to throw and cast. And I've caught several fish, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Um, definitely really like the Provoke and Quake. Bait hands. Have you been able to flat force from Evergreen? Oh, bud. You mean this bait right here? But I've had this flat force for a while. I actually have another one too, but... You know me, I'm going to have me some flat sides. That's something I really want to do is have a great flat side crankbait show. I love flat sides. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I will I will see what's in the line. I, I've got a prototype bait in here. I can't show it to you. I cannot show you this prototype bait. But you can hear it. Um... And I, I, I can't show you this prototype, but it is a topwater bait. It looks pretty good. It has three trebles on it. So I'm really excited to go test this one out, see how it uh, performs. Uh, so shout out to Philip over there. He's a designer at Six Cents, uh, sending this to me. Uh, I love the color, I'll tell you that. But uh, I can't show it to you. Can't do it. But uh, let's keep going through the box and, and, and see some new colors and stuff like that. What's up, Stephen Hare? So this is Ben Milliken's custom color, which is called uh, Gillikin. This is a really sweet looking color. Uh, you guys that really love brim baits, Michael Tooley, it might be a top order. It might just be. So this is his color, Gillikin, which is like a green pumpkin in gold. And uh, it's got a kind of a green purple back. Really fades in really well together. This is one of the better looking colors uh, I've seen in the gill pattern. You're right, Monty. Jank juice looks way better in person than it does on video. I think a, a lot of the glare on it, it, it makes it look rough. But uh, it, it almost looks like a bone really muted. But in person, it's definitely chartreuse. But... This Gillikin color, this is Ben Milliken's. Man, that's a whoo, that's a sweet color. How about the Fritz side? You know, I haven't uh I haven't got to throw one. It's basically 
Berkeley's version of a DT3 DT7 flat, which is one of my all-time favorite flat side crankbaits. And uh, I'm going to order a few because I, I, I really want to bring you guys a flat side cranking video. Um, really get in depth. It's one of my favorite things. Six cents need to make a red breast sunfish pattern. We always get bluegill and pumpkin seed. They just got one, but um, it's very similar. Let's see what else I got in here. Uh, got me a shirt because I always need clothes. What would be my choice for dark Florida water? You know, that's a good question. And I believe I'll have an answer here very soon. But dark Florida, I like blacks and blues. Anything gold works really good in Florida. I don't know why. Any golden shiner stuff. Uh, I've had guys, you know, they like those black blue crankbaits and spinnerbaits. Um, plastics, anything June bug, red bug, all that. Right now, which top water would you throw? Popper or buzz? Uh, I'm going to go walking bait. But uh, I'll, I, I said it on a previous video. I really like a little quarter ounce buzz bait. Actually, this is an eighth ounce buzz bait like this right here. This is how you find them big ones. And then you come behind them with that big walking bait. But little eighth ounce buzz bait right here, you will get some massive blow ups. You're not going to catch them all, but you can find a lot of bass with this right here. And that's uh, made by Prototype Lures. It's basically the original Booger Man. So, uh, who makes a great handmade boss of crankbait? Uh, PH Custom Lures. Uh, man, you get on Wood Bait Nation on Facebook. Flat black with the blue, perfect for Florida. Uh, flat out says he fished dark Florida tannic water all day. That's the guy. Catching concepts. I got a box right here. All kinds of balsa. Again, I have another show for that. We got to get through the six cents stuff. Six cents glides are good, man. Uh, they're different. They're not, uh, I'm just going to be honest, they're not as smooth as like a Gancraft or, uh, let's see, or something like that. Uh, super high end, but for the money, they're good. I mean, I throw them, I like them. But you're not going to get the same action out of the flow glider as you're going to get out of, you know, Gancraft. I'm not going to say S waiver because S waivers can be a little erratic, but it's not a depths 250 or anything like that. But great, you know, for the price, it's good. All right, when do I throw the curve 55? When well, that water starts sitting about 65 degrees and blowing. But I know a lot of guys that throw it. In the same places they would like a bandit two, three hundred, and throw it all year round. It's a great little river crankbait. So let's keep going through this box here. So something else Six Sense is doing. They're now getting to the accessories, and I steal my wife's scissors all the time. Titanium fishing scissors. I needed this. If this video will get four thousand likes. Or no, four thousand views and let's say five hundred likes. I'll have my wife cut a mullet in my hair with the six cents titanium fishing scissors. How about that? So that's a challenge. If I can get four thousand views on this video and five hundred likes, I'll get a mullet cut by my wife with these scissors. There we go. So that's y'all's challenge. And I'm dead serious because you know I'll do it. It'd be way less painful than wax in my chest. Uh, so these are cheap. These were only like six bucks. So keep the no shade or nothing. Is it me or six inch jerk baits look identical to Mega Bass Fishing 110? No, no shade at all. Um, I've done that video before. I've compared them. Very similar in design. Absolutely. You're right. Uh, six cents is actually weighs less. Uh, it doesn't have that weight transfer system that uh, Vision 110 does. But it is, uh, the bill's thicker, a little wider. Very similar, but again, um, Mega Bass has some great colors, and, and as far as all time jerk baits, is number one. It cannot be replicated. I do like the Provoke very much. Better budget, uh, jerk bait. It works really, really good. Um, so, very similar, uh, but you know the Spro Mix stick looks very close too as well. 
there's something about that mega bass shape and design it works um but you know you're talking about two of the best looking paint job companies out there six cents mega bass and i'll be honest strike king makes really good looking stuff too uh so they've obviously stepped it up but that design very similar no shade totally get it uh would you throw another 70 bucks to get the Crotto dc or just save the 70 and get the k uh personally i like the k uh but if you're fishing in places that's got lots of big wind all the time uh open bodies of water like great lakes and stuff i'd probably go with the dc um it's going to help you fight that wind a whole lot better if you're wanting to skip baits a lot or you're a beginner the dc will help you uh me personally you don't get as much casting distance on DC reels. They do cast a mile, but I'm just, I'll take the regular Corrado K. Um, or, you know, I use Daiwa's, um, but I'm fixing to sell a bunch of stuff, so who knows what I'm using in 2020. So, um, yes, sir, Clayton has been. All right, let's keep on going through this. Um, some more terminal stuff here. This is the Six Cents. Uh, jugular fishing pliers so uh, aluminum titanium cutting spring jaws uh, you get to tune your crankbaits very durable it's got a little pocket on here you know I don't own a boat but if you had a boat this would be great to keep right up there by the butt seat I got them because again I'm always losing stuff put these in my bass mafia bag I ain't got to worry about it so when I go fishing with somebody uh, these are nice uh, they're like 30 bucks but they're super lightweight. Again, I'm running out of room as always over here. I'm going to have a pile of baits very soon. See what else we got in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little flat 75 in jank juice. So this is this is one of my favorite uh, favorite uh, flat crankbaits, you know. That's not a balsa. This is the flat 75. You really see the jank juice pretty good on here. Let me see, get it by my shirt. It's got that muted chartreuse and that perfect purple fade. This is a great bait. Really like this right there. And uh, springtime, I really love the crawl colors, but in the fall, this color right here, any shad colors, that flat 75, there's not many companies that are making uh, a plastic flat side right now i think you got a bomber flat a uh, the spro little john is a flat side and you got the kvd 1.5 in the fritz side and then you got this right here and and, and let's just be honest the freaking guggen's knocked this some bitch off right here and uh you know you gotta at least say six cents was the og on this bait and it must have been good enough for them guggen's to knock this thing off and they put some big Guggen eyeball on it and really shitty paint jobs. and Yeah. But you know what? They ain't got jank juice and ain't worried about it. But they got some other new colors in the Flat 75 I'm going to show you all. Love this bait. You got to grab one of those. Definitely late fall, springtime killer. And I like to fish this bait really fast. It's on the rocks. It's a very erratic bait. Well, you know... One rod, I will give one rod, one reel this. He don't even have to make YouTube videos. This dude's smart as a tack. He's a doctor. Mega Bass Sonic side is a great flat side. Great one. I do like some Terminator baits. Um, I actually like their old, old school uh, night spinner bait. If anybody has a Terminator night spinner bait, uh, please contact me. I have a buddy that is dying for some. I mean... It, it would make his year for some old Terminator night spinner baits. Yes, Chad, that color is available now, sixcentsfishing.com. Uh, you can hit that search in the top right, and you can pull up Jane Juice. No, Guggen's don't have no collaboration going on with Six Cents. I can promise you that. At one time, you know, uh, Andrew Flair, he promoted Six Cents or whatnot, but, you know, I think he's just promoting being a dildo lately. All right, let's see what else we got here. There's not many of these left, and so I had to grab another pack. This is the Six Cents Clout 5.4. And this is Watermelon Scents. You see that little bit of blue in there? Love that color. 
Uh, I've actually been catching some fish on this. You'll see a uh, video of us, what we mean, Jake Lawrence. Nico rig, this thing right here, super shallow water. We ca I caught on first day I ever used this bait. Um, very impressed with that bait right there. Love that color. I mean, it's not blue craw, but it's, that, it's a watermelon with that, that blue. And man, y'all can tell that just it gets right. Love that. Anything uh, soft plastic later in the fall, really like a watermelon. I'll get away from my green pumpkins. I want something watermelon. So had to grab that while it was still available. And that color is called watermelon scents. Well, the thing is, the Googans, a lot of things they do uh, don't make sense. But you know what? They're sitting there making uh, buku money that they can wipe their butt with. And I'm sitting here uh, in my garage streaming on YouTube. So, uh, best three baits for fall, in my opinion. Not to get, I'm not going to get specific, uh, but one, topwater, two, a lipless, and three, some kind of square bill crankbait. Uh, I appreciate that, Tuli. Uh, I, I enjoyed Rudd's live stream last night. Uh, I would like to do a podcast, too. Uh, and maybe it's just me talking and going over facts and figures and stuff. Uh, but uh, let's keep going. We got more. So, uh, you know, guys, I like the Mag Dog, but I had to grab these. They're back in stock because I'm not paying $30, $40, $50 for Vixens when I can get... Uh, the Dogma 115 from Six Cents. Um, they're back. They got uh, some pretty loud knock into it. Doesn't have a high pitch sound, you know, like a Vixen or a Repo Man, but this thing works really good. Very easy to walk that bait right there. Man. Y'all tell me, quit wearing black shirts on this thing. My lot's messing up. But that's the Dogma 115. And I got another color in that when it gets super clear out. Woo, do not stare directly at the light or you'll go blind. Cause, well, I just had one of my lights go down. So I'm sorry about that. And then I've got uh, this color, which is Ghost Pro Blue. Definitely a, a more of a clear water color. I like to throw these clear top waters as well in the fall. Uh, sometimes they won't commit to the bright colors. And this one right here, and get it done. Great, great walking bait. Uh, very similar to like a Rover or a Vixen and all that stuff. And I, I'll be honest. Uh, the, the Vixen was the first bait that had this style design, and uh, now uh, Tekle Kick Knocker is out, and I've said this before, but Tekle owned the modes to the original Vixens. The Tekle Kick Knocker is the original Vixen. Uh, River to Sea, all that stuff was uh, that they came after and, and tried to make similar. So Let's see, uh, Lake Amstead, best lures to use now, man. I don't fish down that way, but I imagine the old deep plug is working down there. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to answer a few questions. Did you have influence on the Jank Juice Crank? Oh, yeah. That was my deal. One of the first conversations I had, Casey, uh, was, dude, my guys, we love, they want to get some chartreuse purple. I love that color. Uh, let's get that thing going. He said, dude, that's a color I don't have. Let's mean you work on it. He sent me a prototype. We adjusted it got it perfect so jane juice that's the deal uh gillikin that's ben millikin's thing as well so if you've got a, a rover a vixen and kick knocker you'll like the dogma different sound uh price is about half the price too really good bait uh everybody i know that's uh, it's ever thrown one bought one said hey man thanks for recommending that's a great top water bait so that's how i kind of go with things it, you know back in my retail days when i'd recommend some guys would fish and i said you know, you know i caught fish on that I know it's a good bait and uh you know sometimes it's not the bait's fault oh i'm getting a bunch of crazy pop-ups on this thing 
Dude, sometimes I, I used to take those old Lucky Craft Chartres in blue uh, D20s, lay them up in the dash of my truck for about a week, and they'd get like a really pasty white yellow. That time, it, it cost them. Dude, we got some more new colors on here, Safari TV. I'm a big Mega Bass guy. I wish I could afford more of it. Mega Bass is, is really, really good stuff. They, they put their research into it. And, uh, you know, I'm a fan of a lot of people. I'm a big Strike King fan. Say what you want. Their baits catch fish. Um, you know, uh, you'll never hear me say anything bad about Strike King. Uh, I like Berkeley. Thanks, Robert Danielson. Love his baits. Angler Assets, Spinner Baits. Uh, man, that dude makes some good stuff. He put a new color that's kind of like, uh, a, a, I don't know. He, he made it custom for somebody, and Robert won't tell you the Elite Series Pro he made it for, but it's kind of like a pinkish, purple, and white. Man, it's a good looking thing. So, Follow Angler Assets on Instagram. See some awesome spinner baits. So, all right, let's see. Jointed Redfin. That is a good top water. Best rod reel setup. You're gonna have to be more specific. If for top water, I'm gonna go with a seven to one or eight to one reel, 60, 55 to sixty pound braid or fifteen pound mono. That's your pref choice. Open water, definitely gonna go with mono. If I'm fishing anywhere some really big fish gonna go with braid or around any kind of grass um my go-to fluorocarbon is sunline assassin braid i, I like power pro j braid I, I like sunline uh sx1 as well all right kb still going strong on the dogma do you need a loop knot or split ring uh will help it walk man i haven't heard from you in a long time web I personally, uh, if I'm going to do anything, I would put a split ring. I'm not really the best loop knot tire. If you're good at tying a loop knot, I really do suggest tying one on almost all your uh, walking baits. Um, you know, if you use braid, it's a lot easier just to put a heavy duty split ring on there and tie direct to that split ring. So, man, I'd love to see Matt Allen come back. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go out there. So. I'm a little disappointed in the Rage Baby Bug. Thought it would have been a little wider, like it's been wider like a baby runner. Yeah, it's really small. I will really like the Rage Ocho, and I've seen it catch a five pounder already. So, going to Chickamauga in two weeks. Any tips? Throw big baits, throw top water, uh, get you some ploppers, the 130s, uh, get, you, uh, get on Tackle Warehouse, order some frogs. Bobby's perfect fro frog, anything green pumpkin or black. That is, I'm convinced it's the best Matt fishing frog out there. So, wait, when was Matt Allen on your channel? How did I miss it? About two years ago, Sean, uh, back when I worked in retail, uh, he come, me and him actually went fishing on Lake X. Uh, our best five probably would have been 30 pounds. It was pretty sick. Uh, Matt showed me some awesome trips, uh, ugh, tips with the LV500 fishing out deep. Can you use single hooks on top? You can, depending on what bait you're you're on. So, green pumpkin, Bobby's perfect frog, brown or black. That's the ones you need to fish those mats with in Chickamauga. Really good frog. Uh, if you can't find that, just go with a Spro frog. Those are probably some the best mat frogs out there. Another sneaky one is a Depth Slither K. It walks really good, but mat fishing snag proof. Bobby's perfect frog. So let's keep going through this, man. I, I've got so much stuff. I haven't even got to all the baits. Uh, but I did get this in. Little storage thing. These are only nine bucks, huh? Don't do that, kids. We've already been on for 40 minutes. This might be a two hour live stream. This is a six cents bait bag. So got me a little little bag here to put my six cents plastics in because i put this giant giant bass mafia bag uh with me when i go in other people's boats and i really like the money bags but i like to kind of separate you can see the insides here nothing super fancy but for eight nine bucks you can take all your six cents plastics and stack them up in there put whatever else you want to in there it's pretty cool and I uh, don't have to pay no royalties to KVD. So, just kidding. If you're watching KVD, you're the man. 
always will be. Six Cents does have a frog coming out, out soon. Again, they're really working on perfecting it. I've got a prototype. I like it pretty well. Uh, no issues out of it. I'm not a frog guru, but I was with some guy that will. And uh, he showed me a lot on that Bobby's Perfect Frog. But what else we got in here? I think if you order over 100 bucks now or 150 Six Cents throws you a, a free T-shirt in there. So uh, if y'all order, make sure you get that free tea. Now, let's get in to debates. Yeah, let's let's talk about that uh, real quick. KBD switched to Luz. Um, you know, obviously Luz and Strike King, um, they're owned by the same parent company. So that was probably inevitable to happen. Makes sense business-wise for KBD. Um, now, let's get one thing straight. They weren't going to fire KBD if he stayed and used Quantum. You know, that's not going to happen. But... Uh, Strategy wise, I think Luz is uh, has really gained on the market, especially in the rod market. They, they've come out with some really strong rods. Uh, Going to be interesting to see a KVD Luz cranking rod. Heck yeah! No, you didn't miss the stream. We're still going, but we hadn't even got to all the baits. So really, so what happened about a year and a half ago? They didn't really team up. There's a company that owns Hunter Specialties, which is in the hunting world, and basically big financial backers. That same company uh, bought Luz. And so that's a parent company. And then this company, they acquired Strike King. And then earlier this year, there's another big money player that kind of came in, more financial backing. So really nothing really changed internally it's just who is writing the paychecks and uh you know with all those kind of merging together uh made sense and uh you know um hey uh that that's uh you know you gotta look at how big glues has got now they're in walmart's everywhere they're in all the major uh brand shops about eight nine years ago you were kind of seeing Lou's trickle, and now they're a big player everywhere. So makes sense for KVD because you're not going to find a lot of quantum stuff anywhere other than a lot of specialty shops now. Um, but quantum still, Zebco owns quantum, and Zebco 33 is still the number one selling rod in the, or reel in the world. So, yeah, the Mark Rose ledge rods are sweet. Uh,. What do I think of Rapala acquiring 13 Fishing? I said this a long time ago. I have nothing against 13 Fishing. I think they make decent products. I've used them. But they overpromise and underdeliver. And I'm really hoping that acquire, Rapala requiring them will really help them be able to get their stuff out faster. Uh, I mean, let's look. They, they had a swim bait come out of ICAST last year and it just now hitting the shelves. I mean, that's been their big deal. They got really cool stuff and ideas. And just never comes in on time. And people get really tired of being promised stuff and it never really happening. Um, so it's just weird that 13 Fishing's making hard baits and you got Rapala hard baits. Um, one thing I'll say, I don't mean this bad. I really like some of their hard baits. I haven't got a chance to use them, but they look cool. But their, their names on their colors are so obscure that you're not going to get a guy come in and be like, yeah, I want, uh, you got one of them 13 fishing devil pickle eyebrow baits. The guy's going to be like, what color is that? Sometimes you got to keep it pretty simple. Um, you know, not saying jank juice is a common color, but if you said, yeah, it's a chartreuse and purple color, most guys would be like, oh yeah, I got that. You know, but I think they try to do like a reaction innovations thing on the naming of the color and uh, it just... It's kind of like we're trying way too hard to make names for our bait. So, but I think uh, I think for the most part their stuff's pretty cool. So, anyway, let's get on. Let's get let's knock these baits out right here. This is what we need. Just 
So we got another new crawl pattern from Six Sense. Gonna have to get this this spring. This is called God dang Philip Jones named this one Crimson Crawl. Uh, yeah. You know what? This will catch him though, so I ain't gonna hate on it too bad. This is it's kind of a red copper top, a little white bone belly. That's a sweet looking color. You Gunnersville guys, Toledo Bend, Rayburn. If you like throwing red cranks in the spring, you're gonna have to snatch that one up right there. That looks really, really good. And that's in the 100X. And you can get Crimson Crawl in the flat 75 as well. Several good baits. See what else we got here. I'm trying to kind of stick to the same kind of ones. Had me another Jank Juice Flat 75. You get doubles in the good ones. Yeah, here's uh here's Crimson Crawl in the Flat 75. Man, this is gonna be uh This is gonna be a really good one this spring. Love that bait, especially in that flat side. That new color. Ooh wee. Here's the thing about six cents baits. When it gets hot, uh, the bite, that bite gets hot in the spring, it gets really hard to get some of their stuff. And we experienced that last year with the Provoke and the Flat 75. So if you got the extra coin laying around this fall, let's go grab some. I'm really excited about this color right here. Because I smashed them on the Quake in this color. This is probably one of my favorite colors. Um, Casey and them do. It's called Tiger Truce. And now I can get it in that flat 75. That classic red chartreuse. This is my stained dirty water springtime killer. And believe it or not, I actually catch them pretty good in clear water. But what's cool about this bait, it's got that matte finish. It, it doesn't have gloss. It's a very matte finish. Um, really, really like this. Oh boy, guys, the wife is home. Just keep them headlights on there, Brittany. But that's uh, Tiger Truce in a flat 75. Matte finish, matte bill. Really, really like that bait. And uh, it's got a subtle rattle to it. Not super loud, but subtle. That is true, Tim. I'm actually getting these back in the box pretty quick tonight. Do the do, bait man. Man, I wish Mountain Dew would... Somebody works for Mountain Dew. We need a little sponsorship for her on the bait man channel. Uh, send me diet, though. But we have lost about 60 pounds in last year, so we're cool with that. Another Jank Juice. And this is the Crush 50X. Hello, wife. I think she brought some food too. So that's Jank Juice and the Crush 50X. Man, I think we might have to have a Jank Juice giveaway. What do you guys think? So somebody asked if I threw the curve, and I'm glad you asked that because I've got some new colors in the Curve 55. I'm really excited to show. Guys, if you guys love like that magic crawl, this is, dude. You Table Rock, Ozark guys, guys up north. Check this, this green pumpkin blue crawl right there. Get my ugly mug out of there. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Look at that belly on that thing. Clearwater guys, y'all are going to freaking love this thing. Dude, that might be one of my favorite colors I've seen in a long, long time. That green pumpkin blue crawl. Very similar. You know, Strike King makes a, uh, a blue crawl crankbait, which is an excellent color. This one's not quite, it's got as much white blue, but dude, that one is sick. Yep. Strike King green tomato money. That's the one. That's a really good one, man. You got to take me to your Lake X next spring, by the way. So that's Green Pumpkin, Blue Crawl, and the Curve 55. You guys that like warts, rock crawlers, uh, deep little winds, this is a great little bay. I don't know if they'll be on Tackle Warehouse by Black Friday. Um, you can always use the code BAITMAN on uh, Six Cents website and get 10% off. 
anytime. This is another new color of the Curve 55. This one is Bull Craw. So you got a, a whew, look at that. It's got a, like a red brown back. Put my hand up here. See if we can get that focused. It's got a really good sides on there. It's kind of a, it's almost a pinkish white, and it's got a red belly. Really, really, really good looking bait right there. And that one is Bull Crawl in that Curve 55. I kind of like collecting these, kind of like wiggle warts. Like, I got a big, massive amount of Curve 55s, and I throw them quite a bit, actually. And I love the crawfish colors. But that is Bull Crawl. Dude, all a man needs is six cents in mega bass, and you you could just say I've got all the best best paint jobs out there. But I will say that Strike King has got some good stuff. Uh, that they, they've really improved. They got some new colors, and a couple of them I helped design. Look up the color Bully on Tackle Warehouse. It's kind of like a play of this um, spring crawl. That's one I helped design uh, years ago. That was an exclusive distributor color. Um, Heck yeah, all the new colors on these baits are on the six site since six cent site right now. So uh that curve it says dives five to nine feet in the spring. I really like throwing that on like 10 pound fluorocarbon. I can get it I actually get it down about 10 foot. Uh but I guarantee you you're gonna be in that seven to eight foot range on 10 pound fluorocarbon. One key I do like throwing that curve on is a light cranking rod, like a seven foot medium action what I would throw a wiggle ward or a rock crawler on heck yeah that is uh that is definitely a good looking color um dude my favorite's chameleon and they have a new rage crawl that is a green pumpkin purple swirl and it is awesome and there's another one that's a uh, um uh, uh, striking I haven't got it yet Mark Menendez caught some fish on it it's a blue crawl red flake that one is sick. I really like that one. So let's see what else we got. There's another uh, new color. Uh, this is green pumpkin gill, and this is uh, the 100X. So kind of similar to Jank Juice, but this one is uh, more of a green pumpkin base, and it's got a little bit of a, a blue to brown on it. You dirty water guys, you'll like this one. Uh, you'll notice it's got a little blue highlight as well. This is a great gill imitator. You guys up north that like perch, this is a really, really good one. That is green pumpkin gill. And that was something different that I really wanted to to play with. I think this would be a good deep diver color as well. But this color is pretty sick. You can see it's got the little blue cheeks on there. Really, really like that. Definitely different. That one in Jank Juice is going to get a lot of play for me. Um... Let's see here. Dude, this one's sick too. You guys talking about uh, um, Florida nighttime guys? My wife is about to be pissed with these new colors sitting in the pegs. You know what? Here's, here's how to get out of that, Nick. You buy some baits, and then you go and you buy her some bubble bath. And you, you run her a nice little bath bubble bath and tell her you want her to relax and while she's doing that then you go run and you go put all your baits on the peg like she never noticed done what's up phantom fishing i need to come to that riverbed there morning all right nighttime guys florida guys guys that just want to throw black this is a new one this is not black magic this is actually black and blue crawl when you got dirty dirty water i actually really like these baits in really clear water but or you got that that florida deal going and want to fish at night black blue crawl dude that look at the belly on this thing this thing is sick Whew. I, I like to get that that webcam focus going right there so you guys can really see that I need another light, but man, that, that's the deal. So, Black Magic is obviously, uh, I wish I had one handy. I don't think I do. Black Magic's more of a matte finish where that is a gloss. 
But there's a lot of guys that swear by those black colors up north in really, really clear water and uh, kind of burn it. So black magic and black and blue craw are two different colors. Uh, let's see what else we got up in here. Got me another flat 75 and tiger truce. More jank juice in the 50X. This is another new color curve. They may, Zane. They may. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, Peter North here, old porn star. What is the most expensive lure? Um, there's so many of them out there. And uh, Peter, big fan of your work. Um, you know, at least my friend is. But uh, most expensive one I have is probably a Depths 250. It's about 150 bucks. Um, But Roman made mothers is three four hundred bucks. Now I've seen. Just look up big swim baits on eBay. Yeah, and no problem. All I know is uh, good luck looking honky. That is hilarious, and uh, appreciate you joining the stream. Stream. Hinkle shad is pretty expensive. So this is another new color in the curve. Uh, it's called Natural Craw, and I think this is available in, in the 50X and 100 as well. More of like a brown, uh, copper. Really, really good looking bait right here. Man, that, that, that's going to be a killer in the spring Ozarks area and stuff. What's up, Will? Yeah, that camera, I don't know what it is, Monty, uh, I think it's because it's got so much uh, reflection um, here in the room. It really hurts it. Outside, man, it's like, whoa. Uh, my Instagram shows a lot better photo of that. So, Dude, we still got baits going, guys. Still got baits going. Let's, uh, oh, oh. Here's a new color in the Provoke 106. We were just talking about this earlier. This is Table Rock Pro. Oh yeah, you knew I was gonna have one of these, but not uh, more of almost like a bone with a purple back. But Casey went with a very light, light like an iridescent chartreuse, and then went with the scales on this guy right here. That right there, you know I'm gonna throw that. Yeah, Provoke 106 Table Rock Pro. Uh, your clear water guys up north, um, Kentucky Lake guys, Tennessee River, throw around this thing on some bridges down there at Gunnersville. That right there will smash. So, and those provokes got really hard again, uh, to get last year, big time. So, get on them things, you know, there's something weird going on. We were just talking about 13 fishing. And YouTube pops up uh, a, a bait, the 13 Fishing uh, Dual Walking Bait. Uh, okay, that's weird. Notification. Let's see if we got any more Provoke. Yeah. We got some more colors of Provokes. So this color is new. This is called Wabi Sabi. Oh. So there's Wabi Sabi. That's, you know, very similar to a, a, a Mega Bass color, but it's kind of got some iridescent stuff going on here. That chartreuse belly. Got some purple up in the top of that. Let's see if you can see that better. Really, really like this color. Going to have a lot of flash with this color. It's one thing I like on those bright days. I, I want some flash. You know, I feel like jerk baits is different than a lipless usually on a bright day i want to mute it a jerk bait i want more flash on an overcast day i go with my muted colors something about jerk bait i do the opposite of what i would do with about anything else because it's definitely a reaction strike it's not a you know that bait's flashing those fish come up they look at it if you're working it fast you, you know no small mouth they bite it um I'll just change my colors up to go 
and once it's real slow i want it natural whether it's flashy or clear so i have not uh, thrown the unicorn rod i sure haven't but i have a sensory rod i'm gonna try i'm trying to sell a bunch of my stuff because i'm probably going to just load up on six cent stuff this is another new color in the Provoke, which is Rayburn Ghost. Man, this one's sick too. Clear, purple, got a kind of a black smoke back. Really like this thing in the Provoke 106. So I had to get a few of them. It's almost like a, a chrome purple. But uh, it does have this small weight transfer, but it's not like the Mega Bass. Uh, but it's really cool. You can see how internally, uh, how this bait's built. I wish I had a, a Mega Bass that was clear and I'd show you all the difference, but uh, great bait, great, great price on that. Man, everybody is making a bait. Uh, everybody is trying to get them views on YouTube. I have seen like 30 videos in the past week that's titled Fall Transition Bass, Fall Transition Bass. Man, I'm just going to tell you, half these people putting these videos about had no clue what the Fall Transition was. Uh, was until they started seeing people post about it uh i just caught late fall early summer fishing but you know i will go watch your i will go watch the video that's for sure for sure uh yes i do keep the split ring on on those so let's see what else we've got here more provokes <coughs> I had to load up on this thing because I was not going to run out. Shad scales. Oh, yeah. A little bit of one of the most popular colors from Six Cents now on that Provoke. I do like a white jerkbait. Like I said, when it's cloudy, that's when I'm going to go to that white. I'll get more flash on that white. It seems like on a cloudy day. Stained water. I'm going to go with the white. But I really like the scale patterns on that. Love shad scales. Got it in several different baits. And then they they really went all out with this one's called Hickory Shad. See how it's got a little bit more yellow? Almost more of like a thread fin look. Great color right here for my, you know, Tennessee River guys. Again, went with the scales on it as well. Really like that that hickory shad color. Got a different kind of bait. It's kind of a silver bait base on the back but i really like that yellow going into it almost like a charter shed uh man this one's sick really really like that they pretty much now if you got a jerk bit color you like six cents is going to make it i like talking transition because they hang out on the bluff wall side of the points before they move into the bays and back increase at least here anyway oh yeah it's just like deer they gotta find somewhere to stop Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, check this bad dude out. This is called Black Light Crawl, and this is the 100X. And this was one of those I saw. Okay, that's unique. Nobody is doing that. Check this guy out right here. Holy smokes. It looks even better in person. It's kind of like a solid purple uh, with a black and a blue base. Oh, my goodness. And that's in the 100X. Love this guy right here. My Potomac River guys, uh, East Coast guys, that fish tidal stuff, you're really, really going to like this. Uh, guys that fish dirty water up in the rivers, this is the one. This is, that bait is really sick. I have not seen anyone really make a pattern like that either. <clears throat> and depth on the 100X, uh, about three to six foot. Uh, that's what uh, I get out of it. It says two to five on there. So safely three to four with about 14 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, beef that thing up, fish that dirty water. But dude, I really, really like that bait. Yeah, there's a lot of bluegill that get this color. That is a great point, Jason Beck. I have seen them, seen it like that. Dude, that thing is sick. Then that is called Black Light Crawl. We like it. Oh, yeah. More jank juice. Yeah, you knew I had to load up on that thing. 
don't see that color in the 100X. Uh, well, I'll bet I can find it for you. Give me just a second. And I will put a link to it here. Okay, quit sending me notifications at McAfee. I don't give a damn. I'm going to put a link to it. I'm going to search their site right now. Here you go. They got it in the curve 55, the 50, uh, 100X, the 50X, and the Quake 70. You just click this link right here, buddy. And uh, you can find it. Boom. And... Uh, Whew, got another awesome new color. This is called Crawfish Nook. It, only if a company can create an almost live realistic lure in a shad shape. I might have one. Check this guy out. Oh, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Just so much... Look at that little sub to blue on the tail on this thing. Dude, that is a sick looking bait. A uh, crawfish nook is available in all the square bills. And I believe the 75 flat as well. I love that color. Got to get loaded up on that for that spring. You know, I've noticed a lot of guys do really well on these orange crawls in the fall as well. I wonder if there's something about before those crawfish really, you know, get buried up for the winter that they get that oranges color. Really, really like that. But, you know, it's crazy. I was fishing with Jake Lawrence uh, about a month ago, fishing super, super shallow on Kentucky Lake. This was the color of the crawfish. They were a really brown orange. You'll see that on that video. I got to get that edited up. And that's probably probably one of the best videos I've, I've been able to put out. So, get that is called Crawfish Nook. Really, really like that bait. Oh yeah, there's more. They hooked me up. We've been at it for an hour and ten minutes. Oh, my favorite right here. What's the difference between the crankbaits and all the action? Uh, the 50X. I don't even know what Bass Angler Bait Company uh, is. But awesome. If you're selling a bunch of that, that's great, man. Uh, props to you. You'll have to link me up to your store. I'll check it out. Uh, definitely like helping out the little guys. Uh, let's see here. Jaint Juice and the Provoke 106. Awesome. Yeah, I think you fish a little club tournament or something like that. Matt, uh, there's not a lot of big tournaments on Kentucky Lake anymore, unfortunately. And Matt, Matt's going to go fish. I'm really excited about that. Man, I'm telling you, the light just kills the color on this bait because it is straight up chartreuse purple. But in that provoke, guys, if y'all like just a normal old school table rock, that is the one. Really excited about that. That's, you know, your Ozark guys up north chasing those big brown smallmouth or even Kentucky Lake, Tennessee River, overcast, little watercolor, jank juice. is That's the one. So... But uh, I really like the purple. It fades to like a silver gray. That'll work, dude. You send, uh, look me up on social media, Instagram. Uh, send me a direct message on there. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, I think it's Baxter the Bait Man. So, yeah, man. More jank juice. I had to get, get plenty of that. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is another new color. It's really sick. Um, this is called Sensory Shed. So, it's kind of like that old Pro Blue with scales on it. Oh, I like that Pro Blue orange belly. This is going to be a sick clear water catcher right here. Really like that. You know, I had someone say, well, what if I don't want the scales on there? Well... If you try really hard, you can pull them off, but I wouldn't worry about it. But I like this bait because, one, it's transparent. 
two it's going to have flash and i love that clear blue back on there caught a lot of fish on the mega bass in this color in my day but again that is called uh sensory shad really really like that one i like those orange bellies too uh for some reason I, i've noticed lakes has got a lot of blue going on there like that man if there's an asian carp pattern they would definitely smash what's up chris and this is another one with that flash design this one's sick this is what's called shad pro very similar to shad scales not quite as white uh it's got more of a silver back very similar to the hickory shad but this one's doesn't have any yellow really really like that six cents is making spinning rod covers they will be coming out uh Casey assured me on that, but man, that, whew, that thing right there, that's going to be a great all-around color. Just a very good shad imitator. I don't care where you live, where you're in California, uh, the Delta, Tennessee River, East Coast. That color right there, Shad Pro. If you're indecisive, I would load myself up with one of those. Let's see, what else do we got? I got a Shad Pro in the Quake 70. My favorite lipless bait. Uh, you know, I throw them all. I throw Red Eye Shad. I throw a Bill Lewis Rattle Trap a lot. But I really like this bait when they're on the lift and drop deal. Dude, that Shad Pro looks so good in that Quake. And that's what that sucker sound like. Really kind of a different pitch. Not super deep and loud, but it's a different pitch. I really like that bait. And that's Shad Pro. Right there, fall fishing, they gonna eat that. Looks just like a little yellowtail minnow. Just like one. Whew. We still got baits. Looky here. Got two new crawfish patterns in the Quake 70. I might have been going on here way too long, guys. I'm going to have to wrap it up. This is uh, natural crawfish, which we've seen in that 100X. This one looks pretty sick right here. going to be a great springtime color. Could be good this fall. I like that bomb. I'd love to see that blue crawl in this bait right here. Quake has got it going on for sure. And then this is another one called High Def Crawl. There's really not a whole lot of difference. This one might have a little bit more uh, red to it. This is High Def Crawl in the Quake 70. And it's got uh, kind of more of a Magic Crawl belly as well. Really like that. Definitely going to be a good player. And I think they make those in the, the square bills as well pretty excited about that and then they a lot of guys have been asking look here uh just a regular straight up chrome quake 70 i know everybody loves a chrome rattle trap in the fall well they have now got a straight up chrome black back quake if you guys have been looking for it, it is now available again there's something different about the pitch on this bait it's not as loud as a rattle trap but man i catch them really good on it it's just a, a really subtle uh, pitch on it. Flat sided, definitely got a tighter a action. Yeah, the food's definitely cold, man. Um, I'm about to get through with this eventually. I haven't been on here in like two weeks, so might as well get on here. Any chartreuse, black or brown on the lipless? Uh, and those, there's some brown. There's another Gillikin. And this is a cool new color. It's kind of like a jank juice with scales. It's got a gold back on it, but this is called Shad Streaker. Really, really like this thing right here. See if y'all can tell. Get this thing focused. Got them scales. Got a nice Irish gold back. Definitely going to be a good dirty water color. Really, really like this thing right here. It's called Shad Stricker, and that's in the 50X. I believe you can get that in many different baits as well. 
Really like that bait. Oh man, this one's sick too. This is uh this is called Sapphire Crawl. And this is in the curve 55. Ooh, look at this thing. Dude. That is killer looking. It's almost like a just a blue and black, like a really light blue crawl. Dude, this thing right here is mean. Me. The cool thing about this bait is it really actually imitates a shad almost as good as it does a crawfish. Really, really like that. The guys that are a fan of that Kentucky Lake Blue Glimmerdale. Yeah. That right there. Work. What's up, Cody Flat? We done throwing all your secret baits on here, bud. Too late. Done threw all that out. I am fixing to wrap this up. I'm going to have to get in there and eat before my wife kills me. All right, see what we got here. All right. One last color in the Quake 70. That bait will catch more fishermen than fish. Ah, uh, it's possible, but if you think about it, is this is just a shad pattern. It's going to catch them. And just like any bait, it doesn't matter how good your paint job is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how awesome the bait works or runs, if you're not around fish, you're probably not going to catch fish. Dude, this one's sick too. This is uh live shiner. Got that royal blue back, kind of some crump, and it's got some gold on it. So my Florida guys that like that golden shiner kind of deal, that right there is gonna be deadly. Really, really, really like that. Really like that. That's definitely a good fall color. I really like the gold in my traps on an overcast day. Uh, the biggest small mammoth I ever caught coming on a gold. Uh, Aurora Gold uh, LV um, D7. And I'm telling you, I've caught a few fit, small mouths, six and a half, almost seven pounds. This sucker was, if it wasn't eight pounds, you know, Tennessee doesn't suck at football. Because I promise you this sucker was over eight. Uh, God, you know, my, my buddy Matt Bryan, he, uh, God service here was with me when I caught it. This was way before he was gotten. He, he used to do that fish was eight and a half pounds. It was huge. Um, gold trap in the fall, fishing a flat. And it, it hit it so hard, knocked so much slack in my line, that I said, I missed it. And I started reeling in. And I could I was like, what the heck? I fouled my bait up. There was so much slack in it. And by the time I caught up to it, it was just like, Ugh. it was about a 15-minute fight. And this was, I was probably like 18, so I caught this thing on like a 7-foot quantum glass rod, and it whipped me bad so last bait is called chartreuse sungill in the 50x and uh someone was asking the orange throated gill colors this one's gonna be close can't see it real good this lighting's not good on yellows but it's got a little orange on the bottom like a powder blue back really really like this color Really, really like this color. So, chartreuse sungill. Again, guys, if you're watching, you can get on the Six Cents website. Uh, use the code Baitman, get 10% off. There's almost 200 guys in here watching tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. Um, I really appreciate um, all the views. I really like getting on here. Uh, I've just been busy with life and some other stuff. And uh, really glad you guys joined me in. I get excited when I get new stuff in. And uh, thank you guys so much for supporting uh, the channel. Uh, when you order from Six Cents, again, use my code Baitman. And I put a little note in there. Said, say, uh, hey, thanks for supporting the Baitman. Like his stuff, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we, Six Cents is, you know, they do stuff with Ben Milliken. Uh, I know uh, Josh... Um, stash pig patrol he's doing some stuff really group great group of guys my buddy brandon hunter hopefully we get some great footage this this spring so uh gonna go ahead uh and and, and get get to work on, on that video get it done tomorrow so should have a video tomorrow and i'm not gonna make him promises but i'm gonna try to be pumping out content all this week some of it's old but uh 
I'm really excited about what we got to do. We're going to do some more sit down bait videos. I really want to go over the big top water bait phenomenon and some other stuff. But streams on Saturdays, regular videos during the week, and I'm going to try to start doing some stuff with my website. Uh, but I've got to get caught up on some other things. But uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I got to get out of the tackle shed here because I'm burning up. But it's starting to feel good outside. It is definitely fall at night. But. Uh, Thanks so much. Be sure to give the video a like, share it, 4,000 views, and uh, we're going to get a mullet. So, guys, y'all have a good one. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you all.